Hi, I'm Josh Kwok with Streakwave Wireless. Today I'm going to introduce you to Aruba Instant and how easy it is to set up an employee network and a guest network. First, I'm going to take this PoE cable, connect it to one of these radios. And while it's booting up, I'm going to talk about the four classes of radios they have. First, we have the Aruba Instant 92 and 93 series. It is a single radio dual band AP. It's meant for lower density deployment. Next, we have the Aruba 104 and 105 series. It's the most popular models out in the market right now. It is a dual band, dual radio AP. With a rough market price of $500, it's extremely affordable. Next, we have the 3x3 MIMO 135 and 134 series. This radio is capable of doing 450 megabits per second per radio and is great for high density or high device count deployments. Lastly, we have the IAP-175 Outdoor Series. Uh, it is extremely rugged, very well built. They all come with lifetime warranties anyways. And um, I want to talk about the different models. When I was talking about IAP-92 and 93, you notice the lower numbered model would have external antenna connectors on them. So you can use antenna of choice. Just like the 104 versus the 105, you'll notice the external connectors on them. And lastly, the 134 with external antenna connectors. Um, the outdoor 175 only comes with external connectors. Uh, so there's four external connectors on these. Uh, since they're outdoor anyways, uh, you should pick and choose the right antenna for your application. There are two models. There's a PoE model and then an AC powered model. So uh, uh, if you need any more information, our website will have all that. Let's see if the radios are up. Uh, while we wait for the radios to come up, let me show you one more feature. All the radios, all the indoor radios come with a very easy to use ceiling mount. You can literally take this thing, take it to the T-bar, and just snap it right in. Makes it very easy to deploy. All right, looks like the radios are up. I'm going to jump on my laptop for over-the-air provisioning. There we are. We're going to connect to it. There should be no security authentication required. Once we're connected, let's open the browser, and uh, it will automatically be redirected to the management interface. Username, password, or this admin and admin. And here we are. This is the main user interface. We'll now create a new SSID called Streakwave. I'll leave it on employee, which is essentially the trusted, the internal network. Click next to the VLAN tab. Uh, Client IP assignments, uh, we'll leave on network assigned, which just means it'll pick up DHCP from the local network and also leave the VLAN assignment on default. Click on next, the security tab uh, is where we can choose what type of security we'll use. We'll leave it on WPA2 personal using a pre share key. I'll call it password. Click next. The access tab is a place where you can uh, define additional security rules, firewall rules, uh, role-based rules. Uh, we'll get to that a little later. I'll go ahead and hit finish. And in a moment's time, you should see the new SSID there. So now I will go ahead and close that, connect to the new Streakwave SSID, type in the pre-share key, which was password, Click on OK. Now you have it. You've just created your first Aruba instant network. Now we'll log back into the management interface to create a guest network. To do that, we'll type in instant.arubanetworks.com as the URL, and this will automatically redirect you back into the management interface. The username and password are both still admin admin. Now that we're back in the management interface, you notice the instant SSID is no longer showing up on the network list. This is because once you've completed your setup, it will automatically disable itself. 
Now I'll go ahead and create a new SSID. We'll call it streak wave guest. We'll set up as a guest network. And I'm going to enable content filtering this time. With content filtering, this will send all DNS requests to the very popular open DNS service. And since I'm greedy, I'll also go ahead and set limit every user to 768K. In the VLAN tab, we'll go ahead and leave the client IP assignment on virtual controller assigned, which is a little magic VLAN feature that simplifies guest network deployment. This will automatically segregate the network's traffic from the rest of the employee or trusted network. Finally, we don't need a network engineer to set up a guest network. Onto the security tab. We're actually gonna use the internal authenticated splash page type, which means it'll use a simple splash page built into the virtual controller and the internal user database. In here, we can make simple edits. We can change a quick look and feel of the pages of the splash page, along with the welcome text and the policy text. And you can even take a quick preview of what the splash page will look to customers or users. And then you can also edit the internal user database, which is very useful. I'm going to create a user called Josh. Password guest123. And I'll create another user called guest with guest123 as well. And there you are. Click OK. Go to Next. And last but not least, the Access tab. In here, we can actually define firewall-like rules. In this case, I want to limit the guest users to only have access to HTTP and HTTPS. So I edited the default rule. I can create another one and do HTTPS. As you can see, now those two rules have been created. And click on Finish. And in just a few moments, you'll see the new guest wireless in here. Now let's connect to the guest wireless network and see how that looks. You notice there's no authentication because we chose to use a simple splash page. Once that's connected, uh, the browser should automatically redirect to a splash page first. And now I can log in using the username and password I created earlier. And there we go, we're on the guest network. That was easy, right? I'm Josh Kwok with Streakwave Wireless. These are Ruba Instant Radios. If you have any questions, contact us at Streakwave and we'll be more than happy to help.